Good evening. I want to take this opportunity to provide you with an update. To date, we have welcomed students in pre-K, kindergarten, and grades 1, 2, 3, 6, 8, 9, and 12 back to school. Next week, students in grades 4, 5, 7, and 11 will join us for in-person instruction as well. It is certainly exciting to see our students returning to school for in-person instruction as it reflects that our community continues to set the example when it comes to working hard to control community transmission of COVID-19. I am pleased to report that our COVID-19 numbers for the Newton County community continue to remain stable. As such, today we sent an email to our families with students in grade 10 inviting them to return to school which actually completes the final phase of our current reentry plan. As you know, our return to school plan allowed those students who originally selected the in-person instructional model to return to school in our phased in approach. During this time, we have had many families who originally chose virtual learning reach out to us about their children returning to school for in-person instruction. I want to let those families know that our team is working diligently on a plan to enable those students to begin in-person instruction. But I want to assure you, if you chose one of our virtual options and wish for your child to remain virtual, you may absolutely do so. I truly understand both the desires of parents who wish to have their children return to a school setting and also those who have concerns and wish for their children to remain at home during this time. We are doing our very best to meet the requests of both groups. We are here to support you and I encourage you to reach out to your school or to the central office if you have questions or concerns. Now that we have students back in our schools, our meal plans are undergoing some changes. We will continue to provide free meals to all students in both the virtual and in-school settings through December 31st. That's right, parents, if your children are in school, there's no need to make breakfast or lunch as they can eat lunch at no charge through December. If your children are not participating in the in-person meal service or the daily bus meal delivery, you can now pick up a week's worth of breakfast and lunch meals each Wednesday between the hours of 4 and 6 p.m. at any one of the following distribution locations. Live Oak Elementary School, Hard Mixon Elementary School, West Newton Elementary School, Middle Ridge Elementary School, and Oak Hill Elementary School. Parents, you can pick up these free meals without your children being present. So I encourage you to take advantage of this free service. Details can be found on our website at www.newtoncountyschools.org. Speaking of meals, I want to ask that each of you take the opportunity to complete the free and reduced meal form that is being emailed to all parents today. Our free meal services will end in December, so it is very important that you complete that form if you would like your child to participate in our free and reduced meal program starting in January. Finally, I want to take just a moment to recognize two groups of hardworking employees in our district, our principals and our school custodians. Today is National Custodial Workers Day, and I want to let our custodial staff know how much they are truly appreciated. Since the outbreak of COVID-19, our custodians have worked in overdrive to keep our schools clean and sanitized to help prevent the spread of this virus. They absolutely deserve to be publicly commended for a job well done, and they are an integral part of our efforts to keep our students and staff safe. In addition, October is National School Principals Month, and although I might be a little biased, I believe the Newton County School System has the very best team of principals around. They've worked tirelessly during this pandemic to plan for a safe and effective learning environment for our students in both the virtual and in-person setting. It hasn't been easy, but our school leaders get the work done day in and day out, and I thank them for all they do to assist us in our mission of providing educational excellence for all students. I encourage you to take the opportunity during the month of October to thank your child's principal as they certainly deserve the recognition. In closing, I want to remind each of you that our re-entry plan is fluid 
and can change at any time if the COVID-19 numbers begin to rise in our community. With that in mind, please remember to practice the three W's, wash your hands, wear a mask, and watch your distance. By doing these th three simple things, we can help prevent the spread of COVID-19 in our community. Thank you for your support and have a wonderful weekend. I hope you take time to get out there and enjoy this beautiful weather.